Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to UFC 3. I say welcome back because I already did a gameplay of this game a long time ago, but it really, really sucked. It was horrible. I actually had streamed it on the mixer, then I uh, downloaded the game uh, footage and then I uh, edited it in my little movie maker thing and then I uh, exported it and it just, it's it really sucked. You know, the audio was crappy, the video was crappy, everything sucked, you know? So now, uh, because I after I discovered a new way to do my gameplay, videos where the quality is, is much better I decided to go back and redo some old games that I played so starting with this one so now uh, here's the thing the last time that I played UFC 3 I introduced you guys to Bruce Lee please don't go watch the video it sucks it's really horrible just watch this one okay but I mopped the floor with him because well it's Bruce Lee right it's the greatest fighter of all time and today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different I'm gonna be showing you guys what this game would be like if Bruce Lee was actually faithful to well Bruce Lee if he actually look uh, if he it like uh, how can I say? If Bruce Lee behaved in this game the way he would behave in real life, then this is what it would actually be like. So this is UFC 3, but with a realistic Bruce Lee, okay? I'm going to play a little tournament, and but believe me, guys, it's going to be very, very short. <laughs> this is going to go by very quickly, trust me. Okay, so I'm going to put him here and auto-fill the rest, you know? So I do believe there's going to be one, two, three, four fights in total, you know, until I uh, get to the end. So let's just get right into it. And here we are. It's Allen versus Lee. Bruce Lee. The, of course, I'm going to pick this corner. <laughs> uh, Bruce Lee, the greatest fighter of all time. Guys, when I first found out that Bruce Lee was going to be coming to UFC, I really, I just had to download the games and play. Here he is right now. <laughs> Enter the Dragon. Already going to start by showing him. Huh? Okay, so uh, San Francisco, California. To those of you who don't know, Bruce Lee actually is Chinese by ethnic default, but of course, he was born in the United States. So, Technically, legally, he's actually American, but I will always consider him to be Asian, you know, Chinese, the same way he also did himself. But anyway, so here's the thing. Um, what was I saying? Freaking fly flew by my face and I got distracted. Look at the physique, man. Like, you gotta admit that, like, the, the, the game handles him really poorly. Like, the character actually sucks. You know, he's just a regular fighter like anyone else. It's very easy to take him down. But just seeing him, looking at the physique, you know, how realistic he looks, you know, because of the graphics, that is just awesome. And now here's the thing, guys. And here's my opponent, uh, something Allen. I have no idea who this guy is. Arnold Allen. Wow. Arnold Allen. He's English. Okay, then this is going to be interesting. China versus England. So when I found out that Bruce Lee was going to be coming to the UFC series, I, I, I simply had to download all the games and see if I could play as him. The first and second, that wasn't possible because I had to actually purchase him, which really sucked. Then I got UFC 3 and he just comes free right out of the box, you know, in uh, different categories. So, you know, and I've done a, a gameplay also on my other channel, you know, but that's a Brazilian channel and Portuguese with a buddy of mine. But, you know, I'll leave a link up here to it anyway. But anyway, guys, so here's the thing. Uh, now, what you're going to see, it's actually gonna go by very quickly. You're going to understand why, because I uh, I modified the game just a little bit, ever so slightly, to make Bruce Lee a little more true to form, you know? So let's just say these fights are gonna be over before they even begin, okay? And here's Bruce Buffer. He's our favorite little sporting announcer, our fighting announcer, octagon uh, guy there. And uh, here's, uh, well, here's the bald guy, <laughs> Yovis Levine, the referee. It must really suck to be a referee in a UFC fight. Like, what if you get too close and you accidentally get clocked right in the face, man? <laughs> it's like, like, do you get a red card for that? Or am I confusing my sports again? And here's Lee. Here's Bruce Lee doing his trademark stretching right before a fight. He did the same thing before fighting Chuck Norris back in uh, Way Up the Dragon. Oh, my God. Notice that I'm wearing the yellow. Uh, oh, okay, lights out then. I'm wearing yellow shorts to kind of reminisce uh, Bruce Lee's Game of Death appearance. You know, the final movie that he did before he passed away, unfortunately, back in 73. He wore a completely yellow jumpsuit, and that was really cool. Oh, my God. This is going to be cool. Height, 5'7", weight, 145. You know, fighting out of Los Angeles, even though I will always consider him Chinese. Huh. I don't want to skip the, this sequence. I want you guys to actually see the whole thing, you know, and see how awesome Bruce Lee looks, you know. But man, I just really want to press the skip button. Look at his little jiku. No, oh my god, look at him. I'm having such a nerd gasm. I'm such a fanboy of Bruce Lee. Look at him, dude. Freaking Jiku no up in here. There is even a strong wind outside right now, you know, reminiscing the moment. This is the moment. Tonight is the night. Let me see you get up. So he he's uh the same weight, about the same height, you know. So you would think this is evenly matched, but like I said, this is a more realistic Bruce Lee, you know, that you guys are going to see. So, <laughs> God, this is going to be hilarious. 
Okay, come on, can we just like get into it? You know, I don't remember it taking this long. Okay, here we go. And here's Brucey. <laughs> oh my God, man, this guy is in for it. He's not even gonna know what hit him. Okay, I gotta decide how I'm going to approach it. What the? Oh, Bruce Lee didn't even bump fists. Why not? I guess it should have been the opposite. Okay, here we go. And finally, six minutes in or so, the fight is gonna start. And here we go, dudes. Here's Bruce Lee. Pow. <laughs> And here's Bruce Lee again. Here's Bruce Lee with the jab and the kick. And here's Bruce Lee again. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> and the fight is over. <laughs> and this is what it would be like if Bruce Lee would. <laughs> you see what I mean? I told you guys, a realistic Bruce Lee. This is what it would actually be like if Bruce Lee was in the UFC today. You know, look at that. Now, this is a more accurate portrayal of the guy, you know? I don't even know what happened. I think he just got dizzy and passed out or something. I think it was a knee to the face, was it? Let me see. And pow, ooh, a knee to the stomach and chest area, I think. And it's Bruce Lee versus uh, Alcantara. It's a city back where I used to live in Rio de Janeiro. Okay, so I'm gonna start skipping stuff. I'm gonna start skipping all of this. It's very irrelative right now. So let's just get right into the fight. And here's Bruce Lee again. Bruce Lee coming up with a little, ooh, okay, I got hit, but no problem. Here I come again, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, <laughs> Bruce Lee, <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my God, how can you not laugh at this? I mean, it makes perfect sense, you know, this is really how it would work, but I mean, it, you, you still can't help but laugh, you know, I mean, it's, <laughs> these guys have no chance at all, man, look, all it took was a couple of kicks, you know, a, a nice little sidekick right there to the face and it's all over. It's like, look at the blood in the octagon floor, man. Pow. And it's all over, buddy. There's no use fighting it. There's no use. There's no use fighting at all, period. You know, I mean, it's Bruce Lee. It's over. And pow, square in the face, man. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's sim one more round. Now let's make it to the semifinals. Me again, Bruce Lee against this guy with the very long and complicated name. I cannot read that for the life of me. Who is this guy? It's uh, Bruce Lee versus Norma Okay, so here we go again. Bruce Lee, look at the blood still on the octagon. Oh, man. And Bruce Lee comes in with a... Oh, okay. And Bruce Lee with a... Oh, okay then. Sorry about that. Just give me a second. Oh, my Lord. That didn't kill him? You are the luckiest bastard alive. You know that? But I salute you because now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's try something a little bit different. Let's do a little flying. Ooh, man. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty different, all right. Okay, this guy is barely bruised, man. There's like, there's, like, there's like no blood on him at all whatsoever. I mean, geez. And look at that. A very beautiful little kick to the point right there to the temple, man. That guy is going to... He's probably going to wake up and forget what his name even is. <laughs> he's like, where am I? Who am I? What is life? Pow. Notice how his head snaps back into place. You know, that's just UFC graphics, you know, on the Xbox One. You know, and look at that. The old one, two, boom. Uh, and his head just like... It's like his neck broke and then snapped right back into place. You know, holy crap. Okay, so in case you guys have, have lost count, that's three fights in a row. Okay, so one more time, let's simulate this round. And now we made it to the tournament final, which is Bruce Lee versus I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea who this guy is, but um, uh, he's also American. So it's a fellow American, so to speak, even though Bruce Lee is Chinese. And it's Lee versus Puri Yeba. I don't even know who the hell this guy is. In the red corner, Bruce Lee. Okay, so here we go. Look at the blood on the octagon, man. That must be really painful. And poof. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god man i can't i can't i'm sorry i just can't i can't man look at that <laughs> it's the most accurate depiction of bruce lee in any video game ever man the, the damn fight was over with one kick pie oh my lord oh geez well then uh, i guess it's just that's that's what happens when you decide to fight bruce lee poing dead or alive video game or real life this is what happens man i'm sorry you just can't you can't do it you, you this is the dragon you cannot beat the dragon i'm sorry to say okay and now bruce lee is the winner by unanimous decision of course you know that was the shortest tournament in ufc history probably in world history 
you know. And of course, Bruce Lee is the winner. Like, no, like pretty much everyone saw that coming, you know. Now, of course, guys, I mod like I said before, I modified the stats a little bit. I made Bruce Lee out to be a little better. But like I said, this is UFC is what it should be like, you know. If if Bru if uh, UFC actually had a realistic Bruce Lee, this is exactly what would happen, you know. Winner by knockout in every single round. So you know. I think that this is how uh, he could have he could have shipped out with the game, you know. They really should have made Bruce Lee out to be like a, a max stat 99 character who would be really, really hard to unlock, you know. Like finish career mode with every fighter at least, you know. But that's not what happened. But anyway, Bruce Lee is the winner of the uh, unnamed tournament and that's how it is, baby. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay of UFC 3. It's kind of like me trying to revamp the series of sorts, you know, because I did a gameplay before, but it was really horrible. I didn't like it at all. So I thought, you know what? One day I'm going to come back and I'm going to do this again, you know, to make it look a lot better. And I did. Here it is. And I hope you guys like it, you know. And this is exactly what uh, any game with Bruce Lee should be like, you know. I'm sorry, but I'm, re I'm a really big fanboy and the guy really was the greatest fighter ever. I did a video talking about him a long time ago, uh, uh, talking about if he was invincible or not you know and you can go and watch that too but it is 18 plus there are a few violent scenes from his movies so you know just watch out for that and that's it guys okay this is chazzy signing out for now and as always i will see you guys in the next video